Hello everybody, my name is Lale and you are watching Artistic Mind. I hope everybody's doing good and having a wonderful day. So today in this video, I'm making a birthday card for my husband. Today is his birthday and I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope he likes this card. Anyways, I'm using, um, uh, for my surface and paper, I'm using cardboard and for the paints, I'm using uh, chalk or pastel. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going uh, with different colors and uh, whatever. I want it to be colorful and not really a detail or anything that complicated. So I just want to encourage you to make a birthday card or uh, whatever card you want to give to your loved ones um, yourself. You can make it. It's easy. And you can do it with, um, you know, just one color. I'm using all the colors in the um yeah, packet i have but you can use uh, uh just one color uh, two colors three colors i mean at least has to be two colors and then after that i'm gonna write uh happy birthday on top of it and for sure when you making a, a card your handmade card i always sign it not on the um, you know uh, front in the back and then just uh, date it and so hopefully people enjoy it you know people always enjoy a handmade card and uh, it's um i think it's more meaningful than to just buy one anyways so yeah it looks like a i guess um uh quilting <laughs> like a quilting uh blanket uh, i like those so I was thinking about a colorful and uh, really freehand uh, something to just uh, make him happy and uh, make sure he, remem he remembers that I love him. <laughs> anyway, so after I, I did that, I'm going with uh, my paintbrush and I just wet the colors a little bit. Uh, when you do that, you know, chalk is stick better to the paper. But that's not the, you know... Um, final result or final what I want to get you see it get darker and uh, but it gets um it gives you better um surface to work on you can actually go with on in the beginning but I just wanted to know what colors I'm going to go and then after that I went with my uh, and I didn't do all the colors I just wanted to do um my uh, blue ones because I really love that blue and some the white and um, yellow uh, anyways so yeah and I if you want you can um, clean the back I mean you don't have to really make it like a, a store-bought card you can do whatever you want uh, so I'm just going like this and I'm using this uh, Prismacolor fixative uh, spray as you see I spray on it I it's not my final project I just spray on it to uh, get a little bit of sticky uh, surface and after that I let it dry a little bit though it's not completely dry but I let it dry a little bit and as you see as when I go back with the chalk on it with the pastel on it it gets uh, the colors pops out really good so it's actually a technique you can use uh, and um, uh, you can just leave it like that but uh, when you go with um, you know a spray a uh, fixative spray on the chalk or on a pastel is really um, gets um, darker and, and then but if you go on top of that again with your chalk when it's not completely dry it sticks to it and uh, it's better mm, you know it you know stay longer for you know years and years and years uh, Anyway, so I'm gonna uh, do this and uh, go all over my colors and um, kind of like, um, I don't know what you call it. Hmm. I'm lost for words. Anyways, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> and as you see, the, the corner of my paper got wet, so I have to iron that, make it, you know, not wrinkly and bubbly like that. Here I'm going with uh, white gouache and I'm just lining the square I made with the colors just to, um, I don't know, just give it more texture, more 
design and stuff like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I, I tickle your... Uh, <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> and tickle your imagination for doing something, you know, for your loved ones. Uh, so, yeah. I, the other day, I was just thinking what, what I can do for him. What I can... I wanted to paint something else for him. But um, but I decided to do just something simple and uh, see what he thinks. Because, I don't know, some, somehow... My approach to painting and drawing changed uh, in these uh, past couple years. So here I'm just drawing happy birthday and writing happy birthday. And uh, because I wanted to go with black gouache first, but I thought, well, because it's a chalk, it's not going to sit on it good. I better go with the charcoal uh, pencil here and then I go with the gouache. So yeah, it's just, you can design it as you want to you can copy and uh, print something from you know web and find something you like or you can just design it yourself as you see I'm going over that with the black wash to um, yeah to make it a little bit darker so you can see exactly <laughs> the happy birthday in it anyways uh, so yeah that's the uh, whole um, video about just to make a happy birthday card for my husband if you guys like you can wish him a happy birthday in the comment section below i'm sure he would appreciate it <laughs> anyways you know the other day i was um a couple not a couple more a few days ago i asked him why uh, you know why we didn't get together when we were when we were younger or when we were really broken and I don't know like I think about that and then at the same time I'm thinking well maybe if he was in my life I would have just passed him like a you would pass somebody on the sidewalk and don't even think about it I don't know you know you never know uh, but um, sometimes I think if he was in my life probably I wouldn't go through so much stuff I don't know maybe I would Maybe I wouldn't love him that much. Maybe I wouldn't even think about him that much. <laughs> but my whole point is he's, he's really a good husband and friend and a good father. And I really love uh, my life with him. Um, you know, like that song. Um, what is it? Uh, I don't know the name of the song, name of the song, but it says, Where were you? When I was burned and broken. I think it's Pink Floyd. Yeah. Well, the day split by from my window. Watching. Where were you? When I was hurt. And I was helpless. For a second I had to thought, think about the next word. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I sometimes I think about it. Maybe it's wrong. I don't know. I'm really happy and grateful for what I have. Sorry if I'm talking fast because this video is short. And I just want to say everything I want to say in this little time. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's the final product. And uh, I'm just going to write something in the card for him. And hopefully he likes it. And I hope you guys liked it too. Let me know what you think. And I will be back with the with a different video. And different approach to painting or drawing. I love you all. And uh, have a really happy day. And if it's your birthday too, a happy birthday. Day. so I'll see you next time bye oh I forgot to tell you um, for to um, fold your card always have a ruler I have a bevel here uh, so uh, just line it with something like I don't know a pen or a pencil that won't write or something not really sharp because I don't want to cut it 
just to line it and give yourself a guideline, I guess, to be able to bend it without um, making your paper bend all over the place. So, yeah. And yeah, this is the final product. I'm just going to iron the corner, as you see here. Uh, it's a little bit crooked and wrinkled up because it was water. And then I show you and hopefully you like it. Love you all. Bye.